The early days of aviation were fraught with danger and disaster, but it's only from learning from these mistakes and incidents that air travel today is the safest way to travel. These are the technologies that make that possible, so join me as we take a look at 15 of the most amazing aviation safety inventions. Number 15. Pilot Fatigue Monitoring If you've ever driven a long journey by car, then you'll be all too aware of how your reactions can slow down and how it becomes much more difficult to concentrate as you become increasingly weary. That's why there are often reminders on roadsides to take occasional breaks, and the consequences can be more severe if a pilot suffers from similar issues. With complicated schedules and regularly flying to places in different time zones to where they started, pilot fatigue is a real problem. A study recently found a shocking 56% of pilots admitted to falling asleep at the controls, and that 29% had awoken to find the other pilot was asleep as well. And this has led to companies designing a number of safeguards to eliminate the risk. One popular device is the Boeing Alertness model that monitors in-flight activity and will actually sound an alarm if too much time has passed without anyone touching any of the controls. In combination with this, most pilots use apps on their smart devices for a range of functions, and one of these is called Crew Alert Pro. Flight crew input their destinations, schedules, and create self-reported sleep journals in the software, and then it predicts their changing levels of fatigue based on how long they've been flying for and the differing time zones. Number 14. Fireproof Seat Cushions if you ever found yourself on a seat on an aircraft and wondered why they were so big and bulky and made from a tough and uncomfortable material, well, one of the reasons, of course, is that thousands of passengers will use them over their lifetime, so they have to be able to withstand more wear and tear than most seats and be easy to clean. But the main reason for seat cushion design is because of research conducted in the early 1980s. The Federal Aviation Administration, in response to several accidents, needed to find a way to prevent the risk of in-cabin fires from spreading. And having found that the material on the seats was one of the main factors that were causing flames to engulf passengers so quickly, they commissioned NASA to help design some suitable materials and also to develop the oil burner test for seat cushions that they all now have to successfully complete before they can be installed into the airplane. The main way this is done is by using surprisingly advanced fireproof fabrics around the actual seat cushions so they act as a protective layer, and some of the methods are almost unbelievable. One company, for example, creates covers for private aircraft and have found that they can be made far more comfortable and fire resistant by weaving Kevlar into the material. Number 13. Improved Testing Even the earliest passenger aircraft underwent extensive training before they're able to be used for commercial flights, but components and parts that are designed today have to go through rigorous testing on a whole new level. This is partly because designers are more familiar with the stresses that aircraft will be subjected to in extreme conditions, and also because computer modeling and technological advances mean things can be tested to a much higher level and the result is a much safer aircraft. Wings are now, for example, constructed to be much more flexible than ever before, and the modern designs will often bend up to 90 degrees before they snap in testing. The idea of this, of course, is to subject them to far more pressure than they would in any normal use, which means they'll easily be able to handle anything that they encounter when passengers are on board. Engines, too, are now designed and tested in a way that they can still function during an emergency, to the point where some can now extinguish a fire that develops and continue operating afterwards. Other tests include pushing the brakes to the absolute limit, determining the absolute minimum takeoff speed, and ensuring all the materials used in construction can be regularly subjected to changing temperatures and pressures without affecting their strength. Number 12. Power Generating Windmills no matter how much testing and planning you do, there's always the potential for an unexpected problem to occur. And when this happens on an aircraft that's at altitude, things could soon end in disaster if there isn't a backup. One of the biggest risks is an electrical failure because virtually every system on an aircraft needs power. Not only is this required to keep passengers comfortable, but it'd almost be impossible to land a plane without electricity, which is why planes are fitted with a small wind turbine just in case. Known as ram air turbines, most passengers wouldn't be aware that an aircraft has one because they're usually hidden within the wings or the fuselage. 
In the event of an emergency, though, they can be deployed and lower themselves down, and the fans almost instantly begin to whir around because of the force of the airstream passing by. Of course, the use of these wouldn't be anywhere near the amount required to power your personal screen or to even switch the lights back on in the cabin, but it would generate just enough to power the vital onboard systems and allow the pilot to safely land. It's not something that has to happen very often, but plane spotters occasionally see an aircraft landing with its ram air turbines deployed. Next time you're at an airport, keep a lookout because you may well see them for yourself. Number 11. Air Traffic Control while the pilots in control of the plane you're on are the ones who are directly responsible for a safe and comfortable flight, it's those working in air traffic control that manage the huge volumes of aircraft traveling through the skies and make sure their paths don't cross. The early days of air traffic control were frighteningly basic, but as air travel has become more and more popular, huge investment has been put into making the systems available as advanced as possible. Air traffic control, for example, used to rely solely on Earth-based navigation software that often limited them to using certain routes and altitudes. But now, using advanced GPS technology, they're able to plot much more efficient flight plans because they have access to real-time information. Not only does this open up far more capacity without the risk of planes colliding, but it means flights are now quicker because they don't have to travel as great a distance and also allows air traffic control to react to developing problems more quickly, such as the development of weather systems that would previously have led to a significant number of cancellations. Number 10. Small Hole in the Window if you've ever been fortunate enough to get a window seat on a plane, you've probably rushed to open the window shade to get an unobstructed view of the outside before noticing something strange about the window. There's a small hole at the base that seems to go all the way through. All of the windows have them, and for many people, the first worry is that air will begin to suck out through them. So these holes are the surprising cause of a huge number of concern calls to cabin crew before the plane is even taken off. Rather than being a potential danger, however, they're actually a necessary feature to ensure safety, and they're called bleed holes. Aircraft windows are made up of three panes. The outermost one takes the pressure differential between the interior of the cabin and the air outside the aircraft. The middle window pane that is there is a fail-safe in case something happens, and the inner window that's there is to prevent passengers affecting the other two. The bleed hole allows the pressure to slowly equalize, which prevents the windows from blowing out because of the much higher pressure inside, and also lets moisture escape from between the window panes so they don't fog up or freeze. Number nine, secret latch to open the lavatory. Medical emergencies are just as likely to happen on aircraft as they are anywhere else. And if you happen to find yourself in difficulty when you're in the lavatory, this could become a serious issue. Unlike on the ground, there's no way to break in from another side or to kick the door in, but there is a safeguard. While you may think that you've locked the door and that prevents anyone else from entering, this isn't entirely true. You've probably noticed that on the outside of the door, there's usually a small metal plate that says lavatory and is above the occupied sign. Well, this actually covers a secret opening and it can be lifted up to reveal the door's inner lock mechanism and simply slid across to open the door. This isn't something that's only used in emergencies. Some airliners require the cabin crews to use these hidden latches to lock the washrooms before takeoff and landing to ensure all the passengers are safely strapped into their seats. And they can also be used to open the lavatory door if it's suspected that someone is doing something in there that they shouldn't be. Number eight, no oxygen tanks. The air pressure in an aircraft's cabin is carefully maintained so it's as close to ground conditions as possible and so passengers can breathe normally. The air that's passed through is usually taken from the compressor stage of the engines, but if there's a fault, the emergency oxygen masks will fall. It's one of the most frightening things you can experience on a plane as a passenger because it confirms that something is definitely wrong, but the way these emergency devices work is nothing short of amazing. You might expect that they're all connected to oxygen tanks similar to those you'd see in a hospital ward or would go diving with. But not only are these extremely heavy, but they're also potentially dangerous to have at altitude in low pressures. So to avoid the risk and cost prohibiting extra weight, an alternative solution was found. When the masks are hanging from the ceiling, there's no actual oxygen in them. And it's the action of the first person to pull one down towards themselves that starts the process. 
This removes the firing pin from a chemical oxygen generator that's connected to all of the masks in the cabin. And this begins a reaction between sodium chlorate and iron powder. Once it begins, it cannot be stopped and it will provide enough oxygen for everyone for around 15 minutes, which should be enough time for the plane to lower to a safer altitude to be able to breathe without assistance. One thing that happens during this process is that the generator becomes extremely hot and may even release a smoky smell. This often further worries the passengers, but it's completely normal and nothing to worry about. Number seven, handrail molded into the fuselage. While passengers spend most of their time during a flight in their seat, there are a few occasions that warrant walking around, namely simply to stretch your legs or go to the bathroom. The nature of the aircraft, however, means that they're not always stable, and if there's some turbulence when you're standing up, the natural response is to grab onto something to hold yourself steady. This leads to a behavior that's often voted as one of the most annoying that you have to put up with on a plane, someone grabbing onto your headrest, or even worse, holding onto your shoulder. It's an invasion of privacy that we could all do without when traveling. And what makes things worse is that planes are actually designed in a way that makes this completely unnecessary. In most cabins, and particularly on an aircraft built in the past two decades, the overhead bin space has become more than just storage. Having evolved from the basic netting that was used on the first passenger jets, most of them now have an integrated molded handrail just below the hatches. This isn't just a feature to make it easier for passengers to walk up and down the cabin, as it's also there to make things safer for the cabin crew. If you watch them closely, you'll often see them running one hand along the lower edge of the bins. This isn't to make sure all of them are closed properly, but to keep the tips of their fingers within the groove so they can maintain their balance, even if there are particularly turbulent conditions. Number six, mountain sensors. For a long time, one of the biggest threats to aircraft were controlled flight into terrain accidents, whereby the plane collides into the landscape by complete accident. In fact, a study conducted by Boeing in 1999 found that as many as 9,000 deaths in crashes could be attributed to this since the beginning of commercial air travel, often because visibility had been lowered to such an extent that by the time a pilot realized they were flying towards a mountain, there wasn't enough time to react. In the year 2000, to overcome this danger, the FAA required all airlines to be fitted with terrain awareness warning systems. Now, even more advanced than when they were first introduced, they monitor the plane's altitude, speed, and angle, and display a surrounding map that highlights specific danger points, such as rising peaks that need to be avoided. Providing visual displays as well as the acoustic alarms and warnings, these devices have thankfully significantly reduced the number of accidents and near misses. They have also meant that aircraft can fly in trickier conditions when there's low cloud cover or developing storms in a way that was completely avoided just in case visibility was compromised to such an extent that the pilot wouldn't be able to see hazards, so fewer flights are canceled as a result. Number five, black triangles above seats. Have you ever been making your way to a seat on an aircraft and noticed some strange symbols on the walls above the windows? In particular, you might see a red or black triangle the closer you are to one of these, the more enjoyable your flight may be. That's because they denote the best vantage point for looking out of the window to see the plane's wings. And this not only means that you'll get the best exterior view, but it's also an extremely important safety feature. Often, you'll hear the spot marked by the triangle as being William Shatner's seat, which rather than meaning the actor has at some point sat there, is in reference to an episode of The Twilight Zone that he starred in, in which he saw a goblin on the wing of the plane he was traveling on. The black triangles themselves act as a quick reference guide for the flight crew, who may need to look out at the wings for a number of reasons. In cold weather, for example, a visual check is needed to make sure the wings have been fully de-iced, and they're also the best vantage point to see if there are any issues with the engines in flight. Number four, escape plan marking system. If there's an emergency when you're on a plane, you may soon find yourself surrounded by panicking passengers. If it's happened at night, the cabin will likely be pitch black, and if there's a fire on board, your visibility is likely to be equally as interrupted, which means the special markings installed on the cabin's floor can mean the difference between life and death. 
Officially known as the Floor Proximity Escape Path Marking System, they're made up of tough, reliable LED lights or paint that contains photoluminescent pigments, and this means they're much easier to see in low light or smoky conditions. If you're crawling along the floor to avoid breathing the smoke, these markings will guide you to the nearest exit and allow you to get out there far faster than having to feel around or trying to guess and having to pass other passengers who have decided to go in the opposite direction. As the technology improves, aircraft designers are beginning to add extra elements like these, often with lighting. But because there's always the risk of a power failure, painted stripes remain a legal requirement on all commercial aircraft. Number 3. Yellow Hooks If you're someone that travels a lot, the chances are you've spent a significant amount of time looking at a plane's wings. But have you ever noticed around halfway along there's an M-shaped yellow hook on the top side? It's something that very few passengers are ever aware exists, but it's something you could well find yourself relying on if the plane you're traveling on is involved in an accident. Their exact position and the number of them will depend on the size and make of the plane, but they're always there just in case. Their main purpose is an anchor for ropes, so if the plane has landed on water, the passengers will be able to use ropes that have been attached to them to either pull themselves along the wing or to even lift themselves out of the water onto the safety of the wing. The other important use for them is that, again, in a water landing, rafts, once inflated, can be tethered to these hooks. This means they won't float away as passengers are trying to board them, and also ensures that the rafts stay by the plane for as long as possible before the fuselage sinks to give search teams the best chance of finding and rescuing them. Number 2. Bathroom Ashtrays while most safety features on an aircraft usually go unnoticed by passengers, there's one that's probably laughed at by everyone who's ever been on a plane. The ashtray in the bathroom. Smoking on commercial flights has been illegal in most parts of the world since the 1990s, and anyone caught breaking this rule can find themselves in deep trouble, often with fines of many thousands of dollars and potentially prison time. Most people tend to assume that the ashtrays are still there from before the ban, but you've probably seen them on newer aircraft too, and this surely can't be simply to accommodate passengers in the few parts of the world where it's still allowed, right? The answer is that ashtrays are still a legal requirement for commercial aircraft, as are the signs that remind passengers that they mustn't smoke. This doesn't mean, however, that everyone adheres to these rules, and there are occasional stories of passengers locking themselves in the bathroom and lighting up. The problem this causes is that the bins in aircraft bathrooms and elsewhere are full of flammable material, such as napkins and wrappers, and if a cigarette was thrown into one of these, a much larger fire could develop. The ashtrays are there just on the off chance that an unruly passenger decides to smoke a cigarette and gives them a safe place to extinguish it so they don't cause any more harm than they already have done. Number 1. Triple Redundancy Instruments there's a lot that a pilot needs to be aware of to safely fly an aircraft, and that's why cockpits are full of various dials and indicators. They need to monitor the altitude, airspeed, the pitch, and the magnetic direction the aircraft is facing, as well as radio navigation instruments for precise takeoff and landing. Of course, unlike in a car, when if something goes wrong, you can simply find a safe spot at the side of a road to stop, the fact that a plane flies high into the sky means that stopping in an emergency isn't anywhere near as easy, and pilots need to be able to rely on their instruments to touch down safely. Sometimes though, just like with all meters and pieces of technology, sensors can fail and start providing incorrect readings. That's why on a pilot's flight deck, a number of backups are incorporated to make sure they always have the correct data. This doesn't just mean having two of everything, as you might expect, but three, and it's arguably one of the most important safety innovations of all. Say, for example, the altimeter fails and starts showing a much greater altitude than you expect. This could mean flying too close to terrain and risking a crash. So instead, you look at the second one that's showing an entirely different reading. There would be no way of knowing which one of these was correct and which one has malfunctioned. By adding a third, pilots can safely assume that the reading they see twice is the true one and that the one that's different is false. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.